good evening everyone i'll be talking on uh, the bradman a change of concept so i'll start with the case a relative 13 year male came with this x-ray showing protruding ulna out of the skin when he presented the protruding ulna was already pushed in and self applied uh, elsewhere now how should we proceed and what should be the order for management should we go uh, i think there has a poll is required uh, a, a Dr. Neeraj, there is a poll here. Yes, sir. I am launching yeah. the poll. There are options. Wash, fixation, debridement. Wash, debridement and fixation. Wash, debridement, change of draping and instruments and fixation. Yeah, I think uh, most, almost everybody has said that they'll wash, debride, change the dripping and instruments and fixation. So I think uh, things are uh, relatively easy for you, Dr. Vaibhav. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll, I'll be discussing everything in the subsequent slide. Uh, Supriya, I cannot... Uh, mind uh, you, this has been... Uh, not very uncommon practice to do give thorough wash, fix the fracture first, and then debride. I'm really happy that there. people have changed over. Yes, please. Bye, Bo. Uh, Supriya, can you just? Uh, I'm not able to change the. Uh, thank you. Uh, we need to answer why the why to debride. So there is a problem going on. I cannot. Hello, Doctor yes, Neeraj sir. is not able to change the slides. Supriya, uh, are you there? Poll, yes. This window is He's not able I to change the slides. This window. Okay, I have closed it on my end. Are you still able to see the poll window? Yeah. Vikas, are you too? No, I I see uh, uh, Vibhav's slides. Yes, even I can see why Buffs slides. I've closed the but poll. There is window, only so. one. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Still problem is there. So, uh, can you stop sharing and share again once more? Okay. Yes, okay. Uh, so, uh, what is the need to debate? Will you share, start sharing again? Please share. I'll start again. No, we can't see. We can't see your presentation. Yes, sir. I'm starting. Yeah. If you can make it full screen. So what's the need to debride? Actually, when the fracture occurs, the uh, skin organisms uh, and the contamination or and foreign body goes inside the wound as explained by the Dr. Devon that negative suction phenomena occurs. Secondly, by the time patient reaches the hospital, the protruding fragment is often pushed inside either by the primary hospital or in the casualty. The contamination and microbes have reached the deep surface in the medullary canal. By the time patient is taken into the OT, the microbes have uh, multiplied uh, significantly. And by the time patient is in OT, the colonization has been occurred. The contamination is already present due to the open injury. And if we give thorough wash, it can just uh, take away most of the contamination from the skin and superficial part of the skin. But the deep contamination remains. Secondly, if I, if I just do local development and reduction and fixation, either by internal or external fixation, the deep contamination will persist. However, the deeply embedded microbe will be subdued for a few days because of the antibiotics and then multiple 
multiply and infection becomes obvious and we have a, a case of chronic osteomyelitis. Now, there's a concept whether it's a defragment or a wound excision. Uh, wound excision is, uh, actually means successful separation of contaminated or non-viable tissue with extension of traumatic wound by incision. And the process is completed when uh, we extend the uh, wound separating the non-viable and contaminated tissue and not just lavage and dilution of the contaminant. Limb preparation is also an important part. Uh, social wash or pre-wash prior to the formal prepping. However, it will not reduce the surgical site infection, but it will give uh, remove dry blood, contamination. It provides clean surface for skin antisepsis and assessment of other injuries. In limb preparation, uh, the wound excision uh, equipment should be separated from the fracture stabilization instrument as we are converting contaminated wound into the clean wound and its primary wound closure, definitive soft tissue cover or definitive fracture uh, fixation is planned, reflave and uh, drap limb for the second procedure. Now, this, are the, uh, this was the wound. Priya, madam, we will have a poll now. Poll. Okay, sir. Just one moment. Please answer the question. There are only five respondents. Please answer. Please take part in polling. There is nothing right or wrong answer. Nothing like right or wrong answer. Sir, actually, the uh, answer options are not visible. They are not visible? So it's just A, B, C, D because I think... Uh, the picture is shown yeah. on yeah, the slide. Yeah, ABCD. People are not able Probably to see. Probably not able C to understand. Yeah. Yeah, the possibility. Can move to... ahead, sir. Yeah. You can repoll it. Explain the question first, and then you can repoll it. Probably they didn't couldn't understand. It can be explained in the picture, sir. Uh, uh, yeah. Because I should have moved ahead. No, you just explain what exactly you are trying to ask. I just want to ask how to go ahead with the wound excision and the extension of the incision. Should we go uh, just uh, excise the wound or take a separate incision for the uh, uh, fixation of bones and excise the wound or we just put a longitudinal uh, incision along the uh, wound or extend proximally towards radius and distally towards Allah along with excision of the wound. Sir, I'm relaunching the poll. Okay, please relaunch. And people have to just click on A, B, C, D, right? All they have to do is click on the alphabets, am I right? Yes, sir. That box can be moved away. Polling box can be moved away from the picture. So if you want to see the picture while polling, you can do that. We have 12 out of 27. We'll wait for another 10 seconds before we will close the poll. Yeah, I don't think uh, any more are responding. So, Vaibo, can you see the poll? Uh, no, sir. Uh, you can't. Okay. Uh, majority of the people have said either B or C. 19% have said D and 8% uh, have said A. That is just excision of the wound. Okay, so the majority of people have decided to excise and extend the wound. Now you can go ahead. Weber, you can go ahead, please. Yes, sir. Uh, Supriya, I cannot move my slide. Yes. There's a uh, polling. Sir, I've, Again, I've you'll have poll. to stop sharing and come back, I think. After every oh. poll, I think that is what has to be done. Sir, this is the last question for poll in this slide. 
Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll again share. So while you are changing over or uh, sharing the screen, will you just explain the thinking behind uh, what incision you would advise? Uh, uh, I think, uh, are you able to see my, my slide? Yes, please. Okay. I'll excise the edges and extend the wound because I need to expose the fracture. Fracture size. Like this. Because the uh, radius is uh, uh, fracture is uh, proximal and the ulna is slightly distal. So I'll extend it along the, uh, along, along the fracture line. Towards the fracture. Wound extension and why it is required due to tissue's elastic recoil at the time of injury, realignment and splinters of fracture either in casualty or at the referred hospital. The tissue damage and contamination is not obvious. Tissue excision is a systemic approach to wound excision from margin to center and superficial to deep layers of the wound. All the devitalized muscles, foreign material and bone fragments should be removed. Again, I'm showing periphery to center and superficial to deep. This two action is this muscles uh, need to be devitalized. Muscles need to be excised, and de but devitalized muscles are difficult to assess. However, the traditional method uh, has four steps in which color should be pink, muscle should be contractile, consistency, the devitalized muscle, tears in process, and capacity to bleed. In 1956, Ars et al. had a study which is said consistency, contractility, and capacity to bleed is a reliable sign. However, you cannot rely on a color. Recent study by Sesson et al. Neither forces nor surgeon's impression correlate with the histological appearance, which gives us this dilemma. Whether, uh, as per the study, the surgeon's new uh, viable muscle and, uh, and surgeon's dilemma is if we re retain the dead muscle, we can have a deep infection. So until better methods of assessment of muscle viability is there, uh, debride any questionable tissue or go for a second to debridement within 48 to 72 hours. A small bone fragments which dislodge easily, have tenuous soft tissue attachment or separate easily during pull should be removed. Fracture fragments should not be considered as soft. Viability, if viability is doubtful, fragment should be removed. Large articular cartilage fragment which are attached to cancerous bones and provide articular stability should be preserved. Large fragments which are being preserved should be thoroughly cleaned with the scrubbing, curettage, lavage, prior to reduction and fixation, and main bone end should be carefully delivered out the uh, extended wound. Bone end should be cleared from uh, clear of hematoma with curettage and saline irrigation. Medullary canal should be inspected for debris, fracture and viability assessed by punctate fun wound, and uh, non-viable fracture and uh, resection should be there till the bleeding bone occurs, appears. In the above case, the bone end delivered to the wound, divided and contaminated site of ulna is excised. Wound irrigation's aim is to remove blood, particulate debris, reduce bacterial count and facilitate tissue visibility. However, there is a risk of deriving, uh, driving debris and bacteria deep into the wound. It should be done only after adequate removal of microscopic contaminants and devitalized tissue of, from the wound. No study says high pressure suggests uh, reported that high pressure lavage and soap solution in open fracture increases reoperation rate. Recommendation is the minimum 3 liters of low pressure saline lavage with digital agitation of tissue. In this uh, uh, slide, I am discussing the uh, wound irrigation variable in which volume uh, in grade 1, 3 liter uh, is recommended. Grade 2, 6 liter of uh, normal saline or ringer lactate is recommended. Grade 3, 9 liter of uh, solution is recommended. Pressure uh, pressure shading should be low or middle range because highest pressure may damage bone, delay fracture healing, may increase risk of infection by soft tissue damage. Pulsation, there is no confirmed, there is no, uh, not confirmed the effect, and so the recommendation is not established. In wound irrigation, additives, antiseptic, antibiotic surfactants are there which are commonly used. However, there is, uh, they are disadvantaged to the, uh, disadvantages that they are toxic to the cells, and there is no uh, clear, uh, Usefulness is uh, established. Only soap solution can be given can be given in highly contaminated wood. That that too only in first irrigation. 
so only normal saline should be used or ringer lactic wound cultures either neither uh, pre wound excision or post wound excision bacterial cultures uh, are used wound closure is also again a dilemma uh, in traditional approach delayed wound closure is uh, preferred to prevent deep infection by clostridia or anaerobic organism organism however primary wound closure is determined with advantage of protection against nosocomial infection reduction in number of surgeries earlier mobilization and shorter stay in hospital the difficulty is defining which wound uh, require early closure in this scenario the uh, combined decision should be taken by ortho orthopedician and the plastic surgeon again back to the case the radius by extension of wound is planned worked on either side of median nerve soft tissue interposition noted and removed open reduction and tense nailing for radius uh, and ulna done with good soft tissue cover this split skin grafting on third day as we can see the graft has been accepted and uh, uh, six weeks the wound is healed and healthy uh contaminated part of ulna was excised and we can see the union at eight, eight months these are the range of motions which are quite acceptable this is again a case of i'll just run through the case this is the case of 18 year old male compound distal femur fracture with uh, four hours of trauma in this uh, we follow all the principles which i discussed wound extension was done revitalize soft tissue and muscles removed removal of loss, loose piece of bone Uh, however the uh, bone pieces with soft tissue attachment has been preserved the limb has been re-reset uh, and provisional fixation with keva is done this is a uh, immediate post op access in which uh, definitive fixation with uh, uh, distal femoral locking pad has been done at uh, uh, suture removal limb is looking quite okay and healthy there are no signs of infection and union have been achieved in six thank you